Hello, welcome to LearnToDance.com. My name is Anderson Moore. This is my good friend Beth. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you more about the top line. More specifically in reference to some comments that I made about uh, Dancing with the Stars in my reviews there and, and the lack of some of the competitors' abilities to keep a top line. Now, just to help you first explain the top line, uh, let me just get Beth to turn her back here for a moment, and then I'll take, in, take her into dance position. Now, I'm going to freeze her for a moment, and I'm going to step out. Ideally, our dance position is the top line is measured the distance from our elbow to elbow. So the, the distance from Beth's right elbow to Beth's left elbow is our top line. So ideally, we want to keep that line nice and straight. The biggest complaint I have about a lot of the competitors as they start is the longer they dance, the more their top line starts to sag. So that line across Beth's back now is more like a W or an M as opposed to being in a straight line across this way. The second aspect about it is the distance that we create through our neck. We want to have a nice long distance from our earlobes to our shoulders. One of the key things that happens to us the longer we dance is our shoulders creep up creating this sort of Frankenstein neck or a lack of a neck look in the way we dance. So this is for the ballroom dancing, of course, waltzes, tangos, foxtrots, etc. So if I use the waltz, as I move along, our goal is to make sure that we maintain this top line throughout all of our steps. No matter what steps we do, even if we're dancing American style, do an underarm turn, as we come back into position, we're going to regain our, our line across our back with our, our arms and maintain the distance through our neck and through our shoulders this way. This is critical because this is what gives you the silhouette that you create when you're dancing. Now I'll show you one last aspect about that dance position or that top line is from this point of view, it's this space between us. Ideally it should be like our clothes are dancing together. Most cases the couples get further and further apart the longer they dance and that creates lots of bad things. We centralize and it makes it very difficult for us to dance together. By centralizing I mean as you look at us now you can clearly see me uh, offset with Beth. If I centralize with Beth and get like this, now you can't see me anymore, it's going to be very challenging for us to dance. So if you're learning to dance at home, those are things you want to practice on. Now the same things are true for the Latin dances. The differences are more that we're not going for width across our shoulders or across our from elbow to elbow in our top line. We're going to be more relaxed. We're going to be more centralized. We're going to have more of a, a rounded hold with our partner. So even if I dance, say, with a rumba, as we go along, I'm still going to try to keep that same uh, length through my neck and a nice, calm, relaxed look across my shoulders and with my arms. Lastly, and the biggest uh, issue that we get here is wanting to move your arm while you're going in rhythm to your steps. That's going to disturb your, your top line tremendously and make it uh, very challenging for the lady to follow you. So this should give you a little bit better idea about what you're looking for in a good top line as you watch some of the dancers on Dancing with the Stars. Thanks for visiting LearnToDance.com. Hope this little video has helped and hope you enjoy your dancing.